All right, so uh, today's lesson is going to be all about uh, pressure, temperature, and volume. All right, so if you're going to understand uh, gas laws, and if you're going to understand how gases behave, um, you're going to need to know what these three things are. You need to know what pressure is, uh, temperature, and volume. All right, so these are three properties of gases um, that make the gases behave differently. All right, and we can measure these three properties and we can predict how gases are going to behave. So we first need to know what each of them are. So the first one is pressure. Okay, so let's imagine that you have um, a container that's holding some amount of gas. And those gas are particles. All right, so the gases have particles and those particles are moving around. So those particles are all moving around in random directions, one way or the other, bouncing into each other. They're also bouncing off the walls of the container. And so what pressure is, is basically how hard or with how much force are these particles hitting the walls of the container. So you can imagine that we have particles here bouncing and hitting the walls of that container. All right, and so pressure is basically a measurement of the amount of force divided by the unit area. All right, so it's force divided by area, so it's how much force are these particles hitting the walls of the container. All right, and you know that if you were to increase the area, that would equal a decrease in the pressure. And the reason uh, that that is, is that these are inversely proportional. So the A or the area is on the denominator here. So if you increase the denominator, then the pressure is going to go up. So if we increase the amount of area that that particle is hitting, then you're going to decrease the amount of pressure. All right, so that's what pressure is. And pressure can be measured a few different ways. And the, the base unit for pressure, or the SI unit for pressure, is a Pascal. PA, and so that's a Pascal. All right, and so that's the base unit uh, for pressure. Now, normally when we're talking about gases, we're talking about usually a thousand or more Pascals. So usually it's kilopascals. All right, just to give you an example, uh, the atmospheric pressure is usually around let's say about 100 kilopascals. All right, so that's how much pressure the air particles in the air are basically hitting the surrounding uh, container, basically. All right, so that's what, uh, that's what pressure is. You may see pressure in a few different units. So the kilopascal is just one way to measure pressure. It's a standard way. The second way would be in millimeters of mercury. There's also uh, tor, and so these are different ways to measure uh, pressure. All right, so you need to be familiar usually with all three of these different uh, different ways to measure pressure because you see you see them in different ways. The next is the temperature. So, um, what is temperature? All right, so temperature is in general is just basically the average kinetic energy of the particles. And what does that mean? Well, kinetic energy is just moving energy. So temperature is just a measure of how fast particles are moving. within a container. So you can imagine, let's say I have a container here, and that's at, let's give an example here of 10 degrees Celsius, and you know, they might be moving sort of fast, but not, not super fast. But if we had another container here that was say at 100 degrees Celsius, these particles would be moving really, really fast in our container there. 
All right, so that's what temperature is. It's just a me measure of the average kinetic energy of the particle. So it's how fast that those particles are moving. All right, so pressure is how much force these particles are hitting the walls of the container. Temperature is the average kinetic energy, so it's how fast those particles are moving. And the last one is basically volume. So the next one here is volume. And so volume is just the space that the particles occupy. All right, so you know we could imagine a small space like that would maybe be about let's say three liters or something, and you know you could have something that's a lot bigger. So the amount of space there. So let's say that's ten liters. So it's the amount of space that these particles are occupying, and that's what that's what volume is. So the bigger the space, um, the bigger the volume. All right. So three liters. It's a small amount of volume. Ten liters. That's a that's a big volume. So those are the three properties of gases that you might want to be familiar with. It's pressure, the force per area, the temperature is the average kinetic energy, so it's how fast those particles are moving, and the volume is the space that the particles occupy.